Hi, my name is Selena Rasha. I work at the Austin's Medical Center at Avon School in the Netherlands, and I'm one of your Galaxy administrators. This, today I'll be teaching you how to set up TUS with Galaxy. TUS is a separate server that you can run within your Galaxy server that will make uploads significantly more efficient. Instead of how they normally happen, which is the upload goes to Nginx, then through to the Galaxy of processes in the background running under USB or Unicorn, which then stages them to disk. Instead, they'll go to TUS, which will write them out. And then whenever it's done processing them, it'll let Galaxy know and Galaxy can import these files. Setting up is very simple, but you need to be on Galaxy 22.01. So we'll get started. OK, so in the Galaxy training material, So in the Galaxy training material, you'll need to find perform it uploads with TUS, which should be linked under the video as well. And to set up TUS, the first step, like most of the first steps this week, will be to add the role to your playbook or to your requirements. Your Galaxy installation folder should look about like this so far. You've got your Ansible CFG setup, your group variables, requirements. So we're going to go edit those requirements. And at the bottom, I'm going to add in testing and write that file out. Then you can do, of course, Ansible Galaxy install minus p roles minus r requirements. It's the stuff you'll get very familiar with over the week, and it will download any of the missing roles that you need. With that done, we're ready to configure tests. In our group variables in Galaxy servers, we need to add test configuration in two places. The first place is up here in the Galaxy config. We can come down to the bottom and add in tests there. We'll be storing the files for tests in slash data slash tests. We set up slash data earlier in the Ansible Galaxy tutorial. And that's where all of our data is going to be going. But we're going to make a subfolder there for all of our test data. And then you can copy this giant file. And we're going to paste that down at the end. What this will do is we'll configure a testy port. We'll be using port 1080. And I'll configure a single instance. The name will be main. It'll be run under the Galaxy user and group. It'll listen on port 1080. And it will upload to that data directory that we just sent in the Galaxy config. Additionally, you need to know the host name of our server to connect everything up properly. So we'll write that out. And nearly finally, we need to set up the location in Nginx. So your templates, Nginx. Galaxy.j2. We can come paste this block in pretty much anywhere. What this will do is it'll set up slash API upload resumable upload. And this has some special proxy buffering settings to disable buffering. It will set some forwarding headers and pass that data on to the testy port that we specified. It also additionally overrides client max body size to allow upload of very large files. Almost done. You can add the testy role to the bottom of your playbook. Make sure it is properly indented with. And all of these minuses line up. And then you're ready to go. You can run Ansible Playbook Galaxy. It was really this simple. This is one of the joys of Ansible that all of the knowledge of our administrators gets written into these fantastic roles that you'll use and reuse during the week. And you get all of that essentially for free. While we're waiting for that to load, I'm going to load my Galaxy instance. Mine's at gat38.usgalaxy.training. I haven't logged into this one yet, so I still have to accept the risk and continue. Oh, 
Over here on the Galaxy, on the, the Playbook side, it looks like test is set up and running. We should be able to check data slash tests and see that there's a folder there. Fantastic. Show the system CTL status and look for test D main. Main was the code name or the instance name that we specified and see that it's running. You'll note that it gives us some ports here. Some, okay, it's using files, using metrics as the metrics path. If we want to collect metrics from test, we can actually just connect to the test port, localhost 1080s metrics, and it'll tell us all sorts of metrics about tests, like how many times it, how many bytes it received, how many connections are open, things like this. Things that can be useful to monitor. Okay, let's upload some data sets. I'm going to click on upload data and then paste fetch data. And I can paste in some large bytes. Doesn't really matter what content. And go ahead and click start. The data set will start uploading in the background. It's going through tests. We can see that by looking at the metrics and maybe graphing for bytes received. And we'll see down here that it's received quite a few bytes. If you need to check what happens with tests, remember that the unit is called testy main and not tests or testy. And here you can see, okay, it's accepted some files, they're being uploaded. It's hooking into Galaxy and telling it, hey, it's done. Here's my file, please go collect it. And with that, you've set up tests. It's so easy. Thanks to all of these fantastic Ansible rules the Galaxy project puts together and all of this is easier than ever before. All of the knowledge of our administrators is getting made directly available to you. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and click down here and fill out the form for us, let us know. And congratulations.